Good day, everybody. It's Friday, and this is Chuck with CyberSmart. And uh, yesterday I was walking down Cyber Street, checking out some of uh, my friends' blogs, and I was looking at title tags. And uh, I had, had a, a friend of mine leave a comment that they're using WordPress and they had installed the all-in-one SEO pack, but they really didn't know how to use it. So this is going to be a short little tutorial video on how to use the all-in-one SEO pack. Um, Today I'm on my Chicago Handyman service site, and this is uh, the site that I built for my 30-day challenge to see if I can get this to list in the Chicago area. It's going to be for sale, so it, it'll serve as a good place to do this at. Now there's two different plugins. There's the the old one, the All-in-One SEO Pack, and then there's the Platinum SEO Pack. They work the same. I used the Platinum for a while, but I had some problems with it and um, you, there's a lot more detailed stuff you can do with it and I haven't really found the need for all of that really as far as trying to get rankings and listings so I use the just the plain all-in-one SEO pack it seems to be a little bit simpler so how to configure the plugin well the fir first thing we want to do is is configure it for our home page okay so if we go to settings you're gonna have now that you have it installed this choice for all-in-one SEO pack and here we are and it's really really very simple you put in the, these are my top three keywords and that's going to be my my title tag and that's what you would put in here this is your title tag home description is going to be your meta tag and you want to make sure you fill this out otherwise it's going to grab the first little bit of content on your post and your page um, so you want this to be unique okay and that is your meta description tags your keywords go here I'm not real big on those because either is Google but I do put my uh, my at least my one main targeted keyword phrase in there you can do it any way you like people do it different ways 601 half a dozen of the other um, the other thing that I uh, one of the tricks that I learned from one of the courses that I took I apologize I haven't removed already on all my blogs so I can't show you what it looks like but if you're looking at yours there should be a slash right here and then um, a series of, of uh, other writings okay I remove those from the from there to shorten things up a little bit so that's one change I make the other thing by default um, I think it's categories I switch it to meta keywords here okay there's some other things to do here I really haven't messed with it and I haven't uh, seen anybody else um, and I haven't had the need so that basically sets that up and let me show you what that is doing exactly okay if we go to the page and we say edit this it's going to take us to our dashboard for this page okay and when you first install the all-in-one SEO it's going to be on the bottom I like to move it right underneath my, my post because it's my most important thing that I do besides my post and here's what's going on when you put your title tag in 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 here in your all-in-one SEO what it, what that is actually doing is it's overriding your title that you put in your post okay Prior to this plugin, you were rather committed to this being your title tag. And that had some problems in that you, you can't change this. Once you publish your post or your page, you never want to change this because it's going to screw up your links. Okay? So what this does, you can put you know your title here, and that's going to show up on your page. But this is going to show up in the heading tag, and you can change this. You know, if you're monitor monitoring your how people are coming and you need, you need to adjust this you can and it doesn't screw up your links and that's going to be your title tag okay there is one other thing that I use here and again you put your keywords in here it's the same on posts and pages there's no difference okay the other thing that I use is the menu label like a lot of times um, the title will be long like this is Chicago hand if it if it was longer and you wouldn't want a tab taking up that much space so if you wanted to use just one where am I at here if you wanted to use just one word this is what's going to show up on the tab on your main page okay so in case you don't know where your title tag is look right up here this is going to be your title tag okay and you see it says Chicago handyman service that was where I put in my post title remember okay and this is overriding it and I can change Another thing that I do, if you ever go to a lot of blogs, you might look, and if you go to contact, it says contact. That's all it says, right? Well, with this plugin, look, I get to use a keyword up here. Contact a Chicago handyman, okay? 
I do not use the same title tags for every single page. I mix them up a little bit. This is a great little SEO trick. And if you're looking at your competition and you see that they got contact and about and that's all they have, you're doing better SEO when you do that. Okay. A post is no different. I don't have any posts, um, so we'll just uh, add new on this website yet. I'm going to. And it's the same thing as a page. You're going to have your all-in-one SEO down here, and uh, you're going to put your title tag, your meta, meta uh, description, and um, your keywords. It's, it's really, really simple, and it gives you a lot of power. This is an incredible plugin. Like I was saying, to me, this is... Uh, one of the best plugins for SEO, anyways, um, that that WordPress has come out with, and, and I, I really like it. And it's one to know how to use because uh, your title tag is your most important tag. Second being your uh, meta tag description. Um, keywords, not so much important. Um, I almost use my tags as keywords nowadays, and I think some other people are doing that as well. So that's basically it with the all-in-one SEO as far as the basic use of it. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to, uh, to ask, or if you have comments or corrections or more in-depth stuff, please come by the blog and leave a comment. Uh, I, I love answering questions and uh, learning more. So that's it, and I hope that helps everybody out, including Mrs. Freeman, and uh, everybody have a beautiful weekend. Peace.